Hi, this is Julia from Team Fluorescent Flying Penguins, and today I want to talk about motor power. In EV3, they have updated the move block so that there is now negative motor power. This is really handy because in NXT, there's only positive motor power, and um, if you were to give the move block an input of the negative motor power, the robot would go crazy. I learned this when I did a line follow program, and in cases where the robot needed to do really sharp turns, I wanted one motor to move backwards. However, this gave the motor a negative number, and that caused the robot to go crazy. So what you see on the screen right now is um, what I used to keep the robot from going crazy and make sure that the number was always positive. What it says is if it's, is that this is C power, and if C power is less than, greater than zero, you're fine, but if it's less than zero, you multiply it by negative one, and then you write that back into the motor power, and you reverse the direction. However, this is kind of um, complicated, and it's not very fun to look at, and try, so, and then EV3 got rid of all that. As you can see, there is now negative what? There is now negative motor power, as you can see, because I'm just moving this around, and there's negative and positive. So you can just do your math and put it in, and you're done. So, yeah. Bye.